What's up guys, AFC Adino here and welcome to a new video. Let's put Veradigator as a follower Pokemon. Select him as a follower. Cool. <laughs> um, we're going to be playing this Veradigator with Berlin team again. I did promise you guys that I did have another team in mind for the Veradigator. I will definitely play it, but I'm still not done with this team. Um... Still trying to get a Ferelegator sweep of though. <laughs> but, what Ferelegator mostly has done is uh, wall breaking. But yeah, if you guys are still interested in this team, you can find a book based link on my Patreon. But let's see what we'll face this time. Oh my god, what the heck is this? I'm kind of scared. I do see a Pikachu. You might not think much about this, but yeah, it can definitely be scary. Um, if I get up for rocks. That would be cool. Uh, obviously, Napoleon gonna be annoying to deal with. I don't know uh, how I want to play around this. I'm just gonna leave with my loom, and we'll go from there, I guess. He goes straight into Gyarados. Um, okay, I'll go Porygon, get the Intimidate on you. We have Discharge. Maybe it's Lightning Rod on Pikachu. I don't know if that's possible. It's, it is isn't hidden. It is an hidden ability, but... Um, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna Discharge here. As he goes into Rapierier. Looks like a Stealth Rocker. I'll go into Hippowden. I could have easily teleported as well. But I, I wasn't sure about the skill level because I saw this team. There's a fire punch. Interesting. I'm getting up Stealth Rock and I don't see a Defogger on your team. Aside from the Empoleon. But maybe Empoleon is Defog. Make, which makes sense if this is Stealth Rock. With Sandstorm up, I can just Earthquake here. The earthquakes as well, and then I just slack up on. Oh, that did a lot. Hold up. Does he have ice punch? No, he doesn't. Even if he had, I would stay in, but. He's super low now, so that's completely fine. Uh, do we sack a Pokemon uh, to get rid of this? He's 100% gonna click Leaf Storm. Gotta keep Volcarona. Uh, it's meant for Volcarona. I think we still gotta go into Porygon. Uh, the first Leaf Storm won't do too much. That guy's life warped. That sucks. So I'm gonna die here. Going to Weavile. He has an Empoleon, so I assume he wants to switch. How much am I going with Pursuit? Weavile versus Oops, Superior. Which am I doing with pursuits? 36. 36. I'm just gonna take life or damage. Because I'm kind of afraid of him staying in. Um, Reach a spear. As he stays in, cool. It would be worse if he stayed in. And I still have Salamence. Uh, cool do something against Volcarona if uh, that ever becomes the case. And at this point I don't really need Weavile so I'm gonna Icicle Spare again uh, just to not allow him to um, set up for free. This exactly. I 
Gonna keep hip out and for this. I already got rocks up, so I don't I don't instantly die to this. But his Rhyperior is already really low. Why did he power with that? He could have missed. I'm gonna go for Loom here. Uh, I think Apollyon is the most scary one right now. And I'm definitely faster than Rhyperior, so... In that sense, I can just Seed Bomb the guy. We go directly into Salamence when he goes into Volcarona. Now I have my orb activated, so that's helpful. Relegator is not useful in this game, unfortunately. Because it's slower than Pikachu, and yeah, Volcarona at plus one can definitely do something in that case. Yeah, if this is something like HP Ice, then. It's gonna be bad as well. He does get the special attack boost, unfortunately. But I'm going for Toxic here. There's no other play for me. Because um, if he doesn't Quiver Dance up, Weavile will outspeed him. I only need Ments for this Pokemon. He's Life Warped, actually. This as well. Superior was live orb. This was live orb. But it's gonna die on the next one, which is good for us. I might actually live this attack. Four times resisted. Not sure why I gigas. But, uh, it ends up working out for us. And I get the roost. And he's gonna die too. Well, maybe he's gonna die on the next turn actually. Sure. But I can still roost on this. Maybe he can do something against Pikachu. As my opponent decides to forfeit, that was such a strange team. I don't know what the, what I can say about that, but let's just forget that game. Wasn't much to do for Relegator. He didn't really have set up opportunities either. Let's get rid of Power Whip. Earthquake from Rapier would have done a lot. He couldn't set up on Superior. All his Pokemon were damage Pokemon. Yeah, and my my Relegator doesn't do anything against the uh, Olean, so that's also out of the question. Oh, in that sense, Relegator didn't do much. I think it's really difficult pulling it off if you have a Rotom. Your opponent has a Rotom. Yeah, this this as well. Like Relegator can do so much this game, but I need to weaken Rotom and that's the that's the condition. Uh, with Sandstorm up, Excadrill will also outspeed it for Relegator even after two Dragon Dances. So I don't get the Relegator to sweep off, but I can definitely pick up some kills with the Relegator though. So what I'll do is... I'm gonna lead with Borrigan, because I expect him to lead with, uh, with the Rotom. And if he leads Garchomp, that's fine as well, I got a nice beam off. I still have the download ability. <laughs> Uh, oh, this is a Spadef Garchomp. Damn. Still clicking Ice Beam. Perhaps he has Toxic on this. Goes into Machamp. Um, that's fine. Just getting chip on you. Your leftovers, Machamp. Oh shit, this is no guard. This is no guard. Oh shit. This is no guard. Dynamic Punch, most likely.
Stop. Ah, okay. If it doesn't confuse me, that's fine. But I would like rocks up. Sub toxic, okay. That's a bit annoying. I can roar him out though. Still take sandstorm damage. Now that I know he's substitute. What is he? Drain punch? He should be dynamic punch. Okay. Please. 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 Please get the roar off. Because I'm poisoned. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna go for again here. He's gonna get up his own rocks this time. I'm gonna teleport now. Because I don't want my champ coming back in for free. He goes drill. Um, now I can actually get in my Breloom. I didn't status anything on his team, so I can actually use, um, I can use Spore now. He's crazy for rapid spinning there, but, uh, that's completely fine. Now I get to click Substitute. And gain some information as well. On the Gengar. Speed Bomb is still gonna do some decent damage. But I wanna know what kind of Gengar we're facing here. Like, I wanna see Black Sludge, I wanna see Life Warp. I wanna see something that can give me an indication of what kind of Gengar this is. It goes for Shadow Ball. I, we don't see black sludge. That, that's what I mean. Uh, I get to see what kind of por uh, what, what kind of Gengar we're facing here, and I get to bring him a Porygon as he goes Rotom, and I get to click Defog now. So Excadrill is still sleeping. I got a special attack boost as well. What is he switching in on Ice Beam? I'm wondering. Still clicking Teleport though. Maybe go to Renatar. Um, Bloom. I want to know how much Seed Bomb actually does to my champ. Max HP. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's max HP. Max HP, max speed depth or something. Seed Bomb does 54.6. Okay, it does a bit below half. Could be a bit below half, so about half. He is at 46.2. It is no guard. Um, do I go Hippowden? For Relegator. I think we go into Salamence then and pick. I think we go Mensa and just go for uh, the Defogger. Maybe I'll try Toxicking first uh, to get him to click Toxic on me. Because maybe he wants to click Toxic him on me here. He clicks. Um, he goes into Rotom, so I get to poison this, which is good for Ferelegator. And we have Excadrill actually asleep. So that means Breloom can... Uh, Ferelegator could potentially do something this game. I'm defogging here though. Forcing Garchomp to click uh, Stealth Rock on me again. Hidden Power. Is that Hidden Power Ice? Pretty sure that's not going to kill me though.
And I can just roost this up. I'm still not sure what kind of guard jump we're facing. Having the Toxic on this is super helpful. I assume he's just gonna Volt Switch there. But I'll be close to full HP. And I might even stay in versus his Garchomp. Which only took Stealth Rock damage. Because I don't think I died to Dragon Claw. And we are quite spit death. So I might even live Draco Meteor. Because I didn't see Life Orb on him. Nice. Oh, he was, he was a life orb. Unfortunately, I have to miss. That is so dumb. This is so dumb. Only I hit that freaking toxic on him. But he's not defog, so if I get up rocks in return. Okay, we, we're just gonna trade rocks at this point. I wish I hit the toxic on him, because he would have been lower. But his rapid spinner is asleep. He's taking life orb damage here, so it's somewhat okay here. I'm gonna earthquake on the next one. See, if I hadn't poisoned, he would have been in pursuit range now. Yeah, I cannot keep this up, so... This is so stupid, man. Like, why is he getting... He's gaining, he's gaining so much freaking value. Clash. I think he's in naive nature, but Night Slash should still not come out there. I'm going into Weavile. I'm clicking Night Slash. We do I have to click Icicle Spare? I think Icicle Sparing is fine, actually. Just by the off chance he stays in, but I only need one Dragon Dance with my Relegator to actually win. I only need one, one, um, one dragon dance now, especially after the, all this damage on the Rotom. I can dragon dance on Excadrill, for example. But he doesn't have a priority on move on his team either, so there are definitely options here. Let's see, Rulum. Can still do something against the Renatar, but I have a Relegator as well. But I need to keep my Shadow Ball immunity being this. Just gonna see Bomb here. Is he Dracos? Go back into Weavile. Ice Cold Spare again. I don't think Machamp has Mach Punch or something on on him, so it's gonna Ice Cold Spare again here. Weakening the Tyranitar. Um, Excadrill still asleep.
I only need three hits to knock this out. So give me those three hits, please. I would appreciate it. And if Gengar is scarfed, we get to find out if he knocks out my Weavile. I'm gonna try to play around with the Sandville. This Garchomp should have already been dead. He dodged my Earthquake, he dodged my freaking Toxic. He dodged my Toxic when I didn't have Sandstorm up. Do I even need... I'm, gonna... I'm still clicking Icicle Spare. Do I even need to Dragon Dance? There's only one Pokemon that outspeeds me now. Oh, Rotom's gonna die to Stealthrock. Maybe I, I live... Hopefully Sans... I don't think Sandstorm ends though. But Exc Excadrill is still sleeping. Please Sandstorm. Taking sand some damage himself, and waterfall should be able to knock him out. I'm for relegator. I'm not gonna click dragon dance in this scenario. He might sack his rotom, but we're not gonna go for it. The renatar is leftovers. I think we can clean this up with for relegator. For relegator should be able to live any hits. I still don't know the set of this guy. Um, I'm gonna go into Oregon now. As he does reveal Thunderbolt, and I should be able to live too. We can recover on this. The Renatar is left over, so he should actually never be able to knock me out. I think that's Scarf Gengar. So we get him for Relegator again. Now he's sex to Rotom. But there's no point in Dragon Dancing if Gengar is Scarfed. Okay. Porygon. Okay, I'm on Fuwanta Renatar. Excadrill is still sleeping. I go for a different move with this kit this time. Maybe he tries to trick me. I just Thunderbolt. Damn! Had I gone Porygon on the Thunderbolt, I would win, but... Remember, guys. This wouldn't have happened, guys, if... I hit my attacks on the Garchomp. Because that Garchomp was able to get more damage in versus me. Why are you doing this, though? I really wish I was down low there. It's gonna discharge uh, in case I can catch the Renatar and paralyze him, perhaps. Gengar is super low, though. So he's only one hit away from dying. Yeah, but for this, I, I need to per I need to paralysis on him, because if he gets a defense, oh man, par paralyze him here, please. Yeah, 
This is so dumb. Like how lucky this player get is getting here. Like that guard jump. Had I connected my attacks on the guard jump, first of all, um, he would have been in pursuit range from Weavile. But at that point, I cannot risk Weavile clicking pursuit and him staying in. So he, he would have been in range of Weavile's pursuit, and I, my Hippowden wouldn't have taken that much damage. He wouldn't have needed to die either. Because Hippowden was poisoned, but having Hippowden around was still super helpful. I'm getting in another one, but that's really tilting me, but like that guard jump who used two Draco Meteors as well. Still got to do a lot of shit because I missed Toxic and then I missed Earthquake. Hitting Earthquake all just meant that I didn't have to Playing around that guard so much. But yeah, that was definitely Scarf Gengar. He was spamming Thunderbolt on my Porygon. Had I gone into Porygon on the Thunderbolt, but I felt like he would probably try to outplay my Porygon switch there. Because if I get if I did go Porygon, uh, all I needed to do again was teleport. Yeah. Maybe uh Maybe running Aqua Jet instead of Dragon Dance would be helpful. Uh, this team again. People just copying this team. <laughs> okay. Fun fact off. Um, if our alligator does Dragon Dance up this game, it can do a lot, but that's a speedy... Uh, I don't think that's a speedy Skarm, actually. What do we do? What do we do? What do we lead up with? I do like my Porygon lead in this game. I'm not sure if this is taunt. Um, when I saw it. When I saw it, it wasn't. But I can just discharge anyway. Like, there's no good switch on his team. He, he, he goes guard jump here, but... Do you want to take an Ice Beam to the face? Like, what are, what's the case? I can still burn uh, f or freeze, whatever. He stealth rocks, but this is a plus one ice beam. Like, are you focus edge? Is that the case? You aren't. I can easily debug on Skarm, on Scizor, even on Jellicent. Oh, this is one of those defensive. Um... This is one of those defensive uh, controllers. I only have a bottom for this anyway. Uh, ice punch. Okay, so it was actually offensive. Never mind. I mean, I'm ser seriously, seriously, man. What is this? This is so freaking dumb. Come on. <sighs> you, you cannot make this shit up. It's actually insane. Gotta keep the relegator. I have to click waterfalls on scissor. I think it's better to go Brilumir and uh, pick seed bomb. That phrase, man, like, really, really.
Oh, I'm gonna stay in and click Spore. It's gonna... Okay. I am not sure why he sword stands up there, but I'll take it, man. I take it. I can sub here for free. And if he doesn't wake up here, that's awesome. If he does wake up, uh, that's the same as me focus punching that turn, so... Yeah, he doesn't wake up. Cool! I got a huge focus punch up, and because he's fast, I think he dies. Yeah, goodbye. I get to score whatever he brings in. So this was a speedy scar, but it's completely fine. I get to break his uh, thing. Um, okay. You're a bit too late setting up uh, entry hazards. He's a bit too late. Maybe I should have focus punched uh, anyway. I think I should have focus punched on the first one anyway, because uh, if anything, he needed to break my sub first and I could have seen if he was faster or not. A bit of a misplay, but it is completely fine. Let's see. Does Flamethrower kill me? Does Flamethrower even kill me? Well, I get to click Spore on Jellicent with this Pokemon, so it's... I don't need to sec it yet. I can just go into uh, Porygon here, because I can just revenge kill this with Weeball. I really have to. And it's Flamethrower, so it's most likely... It most likely isn't, um, just gonna recover here, most likely isn't Focus Blast, yeah, and because it isn't Focus Blast, Oregon can kind of one through on this, so I still get to uh, smash him after that, after being super annoying. Go directly into Bloom here. Because he might just taunt on me, uh, but that's completely fine. As he went for Toxic. Cool, and now I get to click Spore. Get smashed, dude. Get smashed. Now I can just substitute freely. And behind the sub, I can just kill Hydra again. Like, if Relegator didn't even need to come out, Bloom did the job for us. My opponent decides to forfeit, and yeah, <laughs> I don't know, man. That first game, I swear that would have that would have had a different outcome if I actually connect either Toxic or Earthquake on the freaking Garchomp. If I connected Toxic, my opponent wouldn't have needed to die, but that was huge, and he did hit his Draco Meteors, both of them. That was so freaking annoying. Maybe I could have defaulted spam against him. Because... Conditions were kind of mad. Conditions were kind of mad. I weakened Rodom, so for Relegator could have done it. Um, just that Garchomp was able to do too much versus us. Especially if I had Hippowd and Alive. A um, bit of Sandstorm chip on the Gengar would have gone... Would have come a long way. And if I had Hippowden against the Tyranitar in the late game situation anyway, um, I only needed to kill Tyranitar or Gengar because Excadrill was asleep and if I had Hippowden alive, one Earthquake would kill Excadrill. And if I killed Tyranitar, then my Porygon would 1v1 the Gengar. 
and then I would still have the relegator alive. Uh, to do to kill to kill the excadrill which was asleep uh, maybe i'm getting another game with this anyway this is it for this video peace out have a wonderful day and i hope to see you guys in the next vid